Hello and welcome to the Great Basin Astronomy Festival. During this video, we will be going through some objects that you can find in the night sky on your own during the festival at Great Basin National Park or at home in a nice dark place. The imaging used during this video is from the Great Basin Observatory and volunteers who give their time to help Great Basin National Park provide astronomy programming throughout the year. We will be going over six objects that you can find in Great Basin National Park's dark skies or dark skies at home. These objects are visible with binoculars, the unaided eye, and with small telescopes depending upon the object. Our first object can be found in the southern portion of the sky near the constellation Sagittarius. If you look for the asterism called the teapot, you go up just a little bit from the spout of the teapot, you can find two objects. These are the Lagoon Nebula and the Trifid Nebula. The Lagoon Nebula and Trifid Nebula, also known as M8 and M20, are star-forming nebula. This is where baby stars are born. Ionized gas coalesces or groups together to make new stars. To find these clouds, look for fuzzy patches just above the teapot spout of Sagittarius in the center of the Milky Way. You'll be looking towards the south in the sky for these objects. Our next object is the Great Cluster of Hercules, also known as M13. This is found in the Hercules constellation, which will be almost overhead, just a little bit to the right of overhead while facing south. The Hercules constellation is a large constellation with a shape in it called the Keystone featured in this image. Within this keystone, you want to look between two of the stars to find a fuzzy patch. This fuzzy patch is the Great Globular Cluster of Hercules. This globular cluster has hundreds of thousands of old, dead, dying stars. These stars are 11 billion years old and are grouped together by their own gravity. These are some of the oldest stars in the universe at 11 billion years old. There are other globular clusters throughout the night to look for as well. Search with your binoculars all throughout the sky to find fuzzy patches of old stars. As we move from a cluster of 100,000 to 300,000 stars to a full galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy is two and a half million light years away and houses over one trillion stars within it. This galaxy is bigger than our own and is visible in the night sky. This galaxy is easily found by finding the constellation Cassiopeia. Coming down and just a little bit to the right of Cassiopeia, you will find a big fuzzy patch about the size of two full moons. This fuzzy patch is Andromeda. It can be seen both with the unaided eye, with binoculars, and with small telescopes. With a bigger telescope, you may even be able to see some of the spiral structures within for a little bit more of a challenge, you can look for two galaxies in the same field of view, or zoom in and see two very distinct different galaxies. These galaxies are M81 and M82, Bode's galaxy and the Cigar galaxy. One is face-on and a spiral that you can see. The other is an edge-on galaxy. These are much smaller than the Andromeda galaxy and much harder to find. To find these, go to the edge of the Big Dipper and just a little bit more to the right of the Big Dipper. You may see two fuzzy patches right next to each other. These are very hard to see with binoculars, but it is possible. But for the best viewing of these two galaxies, a telescope is needed. Our next object, the Dumbbell Nebula, is where a star is slowly losing its outer gas shells and spewing them into the universe. The Dumbbell Nebula is found by going just above the constellation Delphinius and Sigidus. To find this small object, you need a, a powerful pair of binoculars or a telescope. This object is not visible to the naked eye. The last object that we will cover is an object that will be up around 11 o'clock at night. This object is M45, also known as the Pleiades. The Pleiades are also known as the Seven Sisters and is an open cluster. An open cluster is where stars that were just born hang out together. These stars caught in each other's gravities are slowly moving apart, 
but still interact with each other for quite a while. Rising in the east in the constellation Taurus, this object can be seen both with binoculars and the unaided eye. It is generally too large to see in a telescope. We hope that you challenge yourself and go out and try to find some of these objects. Bear in mind some of these objects are difficult to find. Don't give up. Continue scanning the sky with your binoculars and with your unaided eye and to see what you can see. There is so much more up in the night sky of Great Basin and at your home than you have ever imagined.